All right, hello, welcome back. Last time we went through a lot, so definitely watch that if you haven't. It was a short episode, but a lot happened. A lot happened. This time, uh, well, we we've done all we can. You know, Indy is just up ahead, and uh, you know, I was thinking, I was like, okay, what team do I want to use? You know, what team? And I was like, well, okay, we haven't actually used Team Two in a while. Hi, told Frey every call. We haven't. We haven't. It feels like we just really haven't, because you know. Of course, we used these guys for the main boss of last episode, and we used these guys for every single regular dragon. So I was like, well, okay, team two, right? And, you know, past me was really like that, but then, like, five minutes ago, I was like, but what if we did use Dola? And I'm like, well, no, no, don't do it. Hey, just, just calm down. Don't do it. No. But uh, I want to. I want to use Dolite's overpowered entourage, because, uh, I mean, also, Dola has extra points for uh, being... The person who hung out with Ali. You know, bo bonus points, bonus points. Um, I was like, I, they all have their exhaust. They all have their exhaust. Team 2 does not have, all have their exhaust. So, you know what? The decision's been made. So, here we go. We're gonna go in like this. And I was like, you know what? I want to see Dolight's team just, just blow this enemy up. If if they can. Like, uh, I got two turn operation. You know, after turn two, uh, don't know what we're gonna do. But... We're gonna see how powerful my first two turns end up being with my strategy in mind. I guess three turn operation. Because of what Dolite can do. Hi. I see, so you were victorious. I've waited long for this moment. The time has come for you to evolve and become the vessel for BFD. You shall consume the true dragons and lead this universe to a new plane of existence. What does that thing look kind of like a tail? <laughs> yeah, that's how this should go. I'm glad to see you finally accept the logical route. Life can only grow by consuming that which came before it. Now show me. Show me the light of life. Show me your evolution. I was gonna let the voice line play and then read it myself. It just goes too quick. Like, no, not everyone just, you know, maybe you're not looking at the screen at the moment. You don't know exactly what she's saying. So sorry. Kind of just hit me. I was like, oh, wait. Okay, I won't do a whole video worth of like editing videos and gifts over the music, but this is really good music. Uh, Revanishment is the name of it. And it is a remix of uh, what I like to call the heartfelt music. I mean, the music is also called Revanishment. Uh, it's Revanishment called VFD version, but it's the uh, usual, you know, kid is having a sad heartfelt moment. Uh, I think this is music that played often like the third uh, Sky Lounge events. Also, it's just the, it's the music that also plays in the Sky Lounge with your teammates. It's a remix of that. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. You know, there's lyrics for this song, which I've seen before. Hopefully I can find a link to it so I can put it in the description. But yeah, okay, so my three turn operation, right? Let's, let's see, which skill is it? Oh wait, you didn't activate. Okay, well, hmm. I, like, I thought you had a way to raise your own attack with the skill, but no, that's just uh, that's just the auto skill. Okay, we're gonna do that, that, and I still don't think we have any AOE buffing items. So let's see. <laughs> I still don't think we have any. But we can buff hard Toby's magic attack. But even more beyond Mage's consent. Oh great heavens. Alright, hopefully we like, everyone needs to be fine this round, okay? Everyone, we're all good. Receive less physical damage. Good thing we're banking it all on our mage. Yeah, you do have a shield up, so... Okay, maybe the two-turn, three-turn operation isn't gonna be as easy. 
Let's reload some bombs. Want to make sure we break that defense before we try the uh, the ultimate for dual light. I want to see for you. For real, could be nice. Oh my god, that's, that's scary. I don't know, that's scary. Cringe Frail Brother is actually the strongest of the siblings. That's, I don't, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. I was like, yeah, we're gonna do some big damage. That was about, uh, between 70, 80% of Indy's health. We skipped like five phases, I, I feel. Sorry, Indy, we're not playing games anymore. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm... Well, no, no, I'm not. L look at what you did to like everyone we love. Deserved. This is deserved activity. But also, this is exactly what she wants. So, you know, who's the real winner here? I'm not even playing a game anymore. I'm just watching a visual novel with some dialogue options. I, dialogue option, ultimate lance kill. Like, dialogue option, major cassette, plus magic boosting food, plus exhaust, plus L, plus ratio, plus into the world. Get him, pep. Nice. Yeah, this makes up for everything that happened in Zero Blue. Everything I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. I won't. This makes up for all of it. This wasn't the team that handled it, but man, these exhaust skills are really crazy powerful. I mean, we saw how TRS is, so this would be about the same if it was Team One. But yeah, oh my god, um... Dang, what skills does she have? I mean... And yep, there's that bass music. Uh, <laughs> magnificent. So this is the beauty of life. Ugh. Take my heart, you're 13. My heavenly children. Thanks. My name is Nodens. The happiness stems from this moment. The birth of a new dragon. So is it worth it to read the dialogue? Uh, that's already fully spoken. I don't know. You know, 13, bring this specimen to the RD floor. Hurry! Oh, he's not contemplating, he's dying. I was like, he's 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 probably feeling torn up, you know, despite everything Ali done, you know. That's someone who he like went up from the absolute like sewers with, you know. These two are both homeless. I think like homeless together at some point, and then they Ended up being able to build up this business. You know, he's probably no. I, he's also dying. Lest we forget. Do you have the specimen? You really did it. I'm sorry for shipping in here. I can no longer move. Uh, 
Yeah, once this is finished. Yes, it's complete. I see. Incredible. It's nearly exactly what Professor Nagawa predicted. Come, there's no time to grieve. There's still one more thing you have to do. <laughs> We're the only ones in the universe who come up with such a crazy idea. It's no guarantee it'll work, but you'll still do it right. Thank you. I'm only gonna say this once, so listen well. Just now, we complete the Dragon Chronicle. Using the data I took from that, I'll activate the creation I made with Professor Nagamo. The new Dragon Chronicle. Once it's activated, the universe will begin to synthesize. The information of the six true dragons, the records of the planet, this universe's entropy, all of it will flow into you, Dolite. According to Indy's plan, you would have turned into the seventh true dragon right at that moment. This universe would have come to an end. However, using the new Dragon Chronicle the Professor Nagamo was able to create, there will be a slight gap before you fuse the entropy of the universe. At that point, if you can overcome VFD, the bond of fate between humans and dragons will crumble. We may be able to rebuild the universe. <laughs> well, you'll understand once the synthesis begins. Ready, Dolite? It's time for you to turn the tables and seize the future! Ah, oh, such a fool. I deceive people, hurt them, do things I'll be never able to take back. But in the end, I'm glad. I'm so glad. I was able to put my belief in you, and I can die at peace as a scientist. Alright, here we go. Commit to the new Dragon Chronicle. Wake up. Come on! How long are you assholes gonna sleep for? Get the hell up, you at 13! <coughs> you at 13? Long time to see! God? Synthesis! Can you think I'm never so get absorbed by you? I was worried about you. Psh, bullshit, I've been glad my noise itself was gone. Hey, don't go get on depressed on me. Well, Nagamimi, we just saw everyone we love and care for die, you know? I think we're beyond depression. Like, Nagamimi, we're... Uh, sorry. I just trying to hide my embarrassment. Don't take what I said seriously, you idiot. But damn, you guys are trying to jump through a pretty unimaginable loophole right now. Listen, when you bet against the will of the universe, this isn't going to be a simple task, all right? It's not about many kind. If the HP will go out of whack, your world will slip into nothingness. You still want to do it? Gonna save everyone. Shh, you're such a show off. If that's what you want, go for it. If your journey needs a guide, though, so I'll be joining you. Uh, d don't misunderstand. I'm just interested in seeing how this will all turn out. That's it. Oh, so this is complete. Past, present, future no longer exist. We're not a crucible of information. A place where the entropy of the universe swirls around us. The realm of God, in a sense. Well, you're 13? You ready to take down that god? It's time to show that thing what the word of humanity truly means. Chapter 7. The Seventh Dragon. Abyss. That, 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 I'm sure that has some meaning. Once you actually solve that. Hey! Hey! Why do you have that dumb look on your face? I'm over here! This realm is where all the entropy consumed by 6-2 dragons is synthesized in the one. Grateful 7. At the base of the spiral of VFD, the 7-2 dragon that will end the universe has just been born. If Ali had early, you'd have turned into that thing instead. Or, they turned that thing instead to final target. It's that's weird. So, like, how exactly did this all happen? So, us creating Grateful Seventh through Julieta completing the Chronicle birthed VFD in the first place. But, like, if Allie's plan went right, VFD's birth would have not, like, happened inside of us, but, like, its birth would have been caused by us absorbing. Huh. It's, it's a weird way of putting it. Like, uh... We would have been its birth. Like, and I'm not sure what they mean by, like, us becoming VFD, because, you know, they talk about Unit 13 as, like, a whole group, but they also talk about Unit 13 as individual people sometimes. 
So I'm never sure if they mean like all three of us or all nine of us would have fused into this giant being known as VFD, or if just your leader, you know, Dolai in this case, would have turned into it and the rest of the eight would have to like stand there. I, or if it's just the three people in the team and the other six would just stand there. Like I'm, the game doesn't really clarify who they mean sometimes when they just say Unit 13. Sometimes it's just one person and they're calling you Unit 13. It's uh, so that also adds the confusion of like, okay, Ali's plan would have turned us into VFD. But is it just all of us or just one of us? Yeah, at this point, all the information about life on Earth has been synthesized in your body. Oh, we knew you just got a big, we worked at the library for real, for real. Vagicus, I said VFD is going to try and absorb you in order to complete itself, but you can't let that thing go ahead and consume all the entropy or it helps in humanity. VFD's desire to bring an end to this universe is real strong. With your determination to protect mankind, you can defeat it. If you can manage that, you might be able to save your planet. Uh, though it is no guarantee. Much to think about. <laughs> there is no stir. There isn't even anyone left to protect, right? <laughs> you don't have to say it like that. That was me and my heart. Yeah. Wow, that's quite the statement. In any case, show it. Protect those people within your heart. There's no turning back now, but I'll be a lifeline. Come back if you're in trouble. Then I really want to help, but that ship's already sailed. You stuck with me to the end. Alright, get going. It's time for the final battle, you 13. Hold on for just one second. Ah, there we go. You yeah, that amazing. You can go back to notice from here. It'll take you to a time where everyone's still alive, too. That's yeah, not just a fancy magic trick, though. Do what you gotta do and come back here. I know it's tough, but this is the reality now. You can't forget that. Oh, I didn't know there's actually other stuff we could build. Interesting. Remember, this isn't lead to reality. Julieta, Ali, Mio, nobody in there is real. You can go there if you feel that easy, but you're gonna have to come back here eventually. Please leave not gonna be me chilling here. Like, all right, well, guys, we're gonna hang out around right here. 40 dragons. So, like, we actually do have something to do here. And yeah, this is completely before the apocalypse. Like, we. I don't even think we can go back to the apocalyptic timeline. And yeah, this means that you can do whatever you haven't done. You know, any Sky Lounge events you want to do, any, uh, of course, items you want to buy, any uh, EX skills you want to get, you know, any more rescues you got. Uh, that's all available now. So what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. So we got... Okay, so once again, we're going to be going through a dungeon with Team Dolite because, like, I I'm not clearing out all those dragons the regular way. We're clearing it out the only way we know how. And that is Earthquake. Yeah, let's see, what y'all... I mean, wait. What y'all got? Oh, we also got the warehouse to level up. Thank you. I believe you, uh, 13. Oh man. I gotta remember the all voices again. Construction not complete. Rico would like to thank you. This will be the last one. Thanks for getting the shot. He's my final present for you. Now I no longer have to worry about item accumulation. Does the warehouse only go to level 2? Check this not complete. I'm on up in the warehouse to show its appreciation. So what did we get? Oh. Is this actually just better than people's stuff? Oh, but it's very expensive. Like, no one play more expensive. Hmm. Well, of course, we're gonna get dual lights first. Like, first priority. As for equipment, I don't know. I mean, yeah, obviously, we got better equipment, but it's like, ah. I don't know. I'd rather buy the weapons. You can't just have new lines. Now that we've reached this point, uh, where we, we all know, you know, this, this ain't where we're really supposed to be. No, we're, we're, we're aware. We're aware still. Uh, so let's see, I did that. I guess the last thing I want to do is, like, spend my, uh, cat food. Man, that's a lot of cat food, though. That's a lot. Also, the complete wrong floor. Where's the medical floor? Also, I don't know why. I, I just realized I have been neglecting this feature so much. I forgot that you could just get instant exhaust gauge from here. And yeah, we could definitely use that. I mean, yeah, four places to go. All right. Stop just being like that. I really not saying anything. <laughs> Stop grinning at me. 
It's like, that's like, it's beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous. There's a lot that I wanted to say, and I'm like, okay, now, now it's probably a good time. While we're gonna be running around exploring. So let's see if there's any dialogue first before we, uh, before I get into what I'm gonna say. All right, so let's see what battles around here. Oh my God. We, I, it really would not have hurt to change the battle. It, it would not have hurt. Bring, bring back a theme from the previous game. I'm serious. But anyway, uh, so let's see where I want to start. <laughs> where, where do I start? Well, yeah, let's start something I had to think about for a while. So, you know, the whole, I mean, everyone dies part, you know, that we've been going through for a while. Uh, confusion guard. It's something I never really brought up when anything happened, like when anyone died, but I really do feel like everyone's death did get a bit like glossed over because they happen so frequently you know what i mean like nobody really got time to like we didn't get time to really breathe with anyone or right? except the fact that like this character is dead because and then it was next for like two more people to die you know like in the same uh span of time that yuma died who was a, a very important character that we like got to know through the whole journey we had mio well we had both nagabos also die it's like you know mikio nagabo it's like well okay you know that happened directly after Yuma, and it's just kind of like a, not a, le like, almost a letdown. Yeah, yeah, I'll say that. Because it was like, we just had, like, this big important scene with this character who's clearly been, you know, around the whole time. We've been, you know, we were starting out, like, completely inferior to this guy. We rose up to equals. We surpassed him, all that stuff. And this guy just died. You know, he's trying to find meaning of his existence. He, like, my brother just said he wished he was never born, and we're trying to cope with the fact that he's, dead and then, oh here comes mikio dying it's like what are we supposed to care about this guy that much you know for it to be like oh man he's got over you must death and here comes mikio and then you know in the same sort of span like we, we get a little break and then mio dies next and it's like we it feels like by then we just are supposed to like gloss paths you must death and you know not to mention like the very first scene when this all happened we had like five people die in the same cut scene the same we just teleport. In the same big cutscene, we had you know, Brazil, Silas, Ulania, Iger, all of them dead. And then you know, that was already like, I mean, that made sense. We were in a big blast. We were all there at the same time. They all died. And it's like before we could even fully get over that, we actually had seven deaths. I forgot. We had Chica and Rika die. And then we had Yoritomo die. And it's like, they are really like, that's one thing I don't like about the whole section. They just stack so much at once to where each death starts to feel a little less like impactful. Like we don't get time to actually rest with anyone's death before like several more people had to die. I get it. That's kind of the point where on an apocalyptic, like everyone's dying because of this dragon's, uh, you know, Mia, not Mia, <laughs> uh, Allie's dragon flowers, but also literally we're killing people. Like literally people are getting killed. What is that? Basically, the point is, uh, I just think it was all rushed. It was very rushed to where we didn't really get time to see three in four. Tis ancient magic. To where we really didn't get to cope with anyone's deaths, you know, before someone else is dying and someone else is dying and someone else is dying. It's just, it's just too much. Like, I still do feel the impact of, you know, certain character deaths, but it's just like, it's like, if... Mikio Nagamo did not reveal the whole like, oh yeah, he's several navvies and Yuma's a navvy and all that. Then I would have said, why is it Mikio's death just off screen? Why couldn't Julia just report it? Yeah, Mikio died. And it's like, yeah, I, okay, I get it. He had to reveal the whole nav stuff and all that and his creations. It just felt really weird to jump to like this unimportant character we barely, you know, spoken to like as people barely went through a journey with. Compared to Yuma! And then after that, we go back to someone extremely important who we went through a journey where, like, e like way more important than- We had important character, nobody, and then important character, like, Mio, crucial character to this story, like, our absolute best friend ever, died. You know, that's crazy big deal. It, it's, it's just an unfortunate storytelling, you know, moment, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, let, let's try to get these dragons in here. I do love this extremely threatening music for the dragon flag. You have, like, 2,000 HP. But yeah, it's just an unfortunate low point in the story for me, honestly. Like, high point in terms of what exactly is happening. Like, the stakes have gone absolutely nutty. But just low point in the fact that how rushed everything was, you know. And I, I do wonder how, if things would change or how much things would change if they really had 
more time, if they hadn't run out of budget, if they didn't go bankrupt, you know, would they have spaced this stuff out better? Or was this just intentional, like, have everything happen at once to overwhelm you sort of thing? Because, like, I understand that's a legit, you know, form of... Oh, did I go the wrong way? Like, that's a legit form of storytelling, you know, like, just overwhelm the reader or the, the player or whoever, you know, with everything that's just happening at once. Uh, that's never really... Like, with that, I just start forgetting past stuff and stuff just starts to lose meaning as it gets repeated. You know, that's how I am. But I get it. Like, it, it's probably different for certain people, but... I do think it's pretty clear that, like, you know, things were kind of rushed by this point of the game. Like, I understand the legit form of storytelling behind that, but this game just didn't really do that right if that is what it's going for. Like, in my opinion. Hmm, set this off, not the dragons. Give it off some kind of weird signal. Take that bitch down here, <laughs> 13. Might get some more info. I'm here to kill you. That's just some regular dragon, okay. Alright, what we learn? Oh. Is that Ion? What is that guy doing here? Who's Ion again? <laughs> the first you dragon Ion. The one who planted the seed of life in your planet. Damn, you don't even look phased. You're taking this whole calm and collected thing to a new level. I think that's the depression in it. That fierce attitude of yours is pretty refreshing. You good? You're the same, yet you are different. You refuse to become one. Why do you choose to resist? Why do you not accept evolution? It's the guiding principle of life you must surely understand. I do. Then become one with BFD. Billions of people within you must certainly seek that result. That's not what you want. Your will is strong. It is clear that you do not wish to create a new universe. So you reject synthesis. I see. In that case, prove to me the will of humanity. Wow! Whoa! <laughs> Is your expression different? Yeah, it is. I did not notice that. You're 13. Please wake up. Oh, is it Cirque? What? That, that, that's not who I- Okay. I think the gods. <laughs> Come on, don't worry so much. You see, it's the music team falls so easily. You're 13. It appears the eyes has dispersed your party throughout seven, grateful 7th. Our first goal should be to reconvene with the others. Our willpower shall guide us forth. Uh. Don't be afraid, you guys. I'm right here with you. In 13, you granted me the strength of mind to resist fate until the very end. The light of hope that saved the people of Atlantis shall never fade within my heart. This time, it's more than just the Lucia, though. We're going to be the light of hope for the whole planet. Listen to the abyss. The souls of Lucia will be with you. Okay. You want to trust with the future of Atlantis. Okay, so here's the thing. I... I, I would prefer... Aw, oh, man, this means we actually have to fight the dragons normally. Unless we don't, actually. You know what? Because we can always just come back after we complete this area. Like, look, I... I don't got it in me. I don't got it in me. <laughs> to take care of all these dragons. Unless it's Team Dolight. Unless I just do this every time and just switch to Dolight's team. But now nah, that, I mean... Mm, unless... Okay, it's technically team two is up next. So let's try to order everyone properly here. All right, here we go. Well, I guess we can see how this team handles a dragon once we, uh, where's this one supposed to be? Like right next to me. And once we come across the dragon, let's see how they handle it. Hmm. The turtle mode's really going, <laughs> it's really going this time. Come on! Let's go, team! Chad just got to sleep. Nice. Uh, now obviously it came at a cost, but oh my god, we call I didn't know you were built like that. Wow, uh... I guess, I guess we're trying to get some, you know... Some points back after I said... Banisher was my favorite because I'll easily clear the counters out. Now that is also AOE. So I still consider Banisher better. I just clear on random counters, but wow. That's, I wasn't expecting all that. Also, yeah, sadly we don't have any like speed boosting on because so, uh, I mean, we have speed plus five, but that's not, you know, it's obviously not a retreat ring type of speed. We, we gotta like put all this together with life. Oh, you know, the damage would actually like 
killed thousands. Oh, giraffe too. Iron Rosier. It's critical. How necessary was that, Biko? On a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being completely unnecessary and 10 being... Everyone would have died if we didn't because I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm seeing like a solid... 3. No, our, our brains are damaged. Our brains are damaged. Uh, still good. Thank you for the crit, Biko. So, okay, I'm not sure how I want to split this, huh? Like, cause, cause, you know, it's clearly gonna be like, okay, we have a fight here at the end, we have a fight for team, you know, the next team, and then team one. They might have their own, like, mini dragon fight, or we might actually be fighting VFD with, uh, starting with team one. I don't remember how this goes. We'll, we'll see how, how I feel, right? Right? We might stop the episode here. Actually, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Cause next episode might be the last, is, is kind of where I'm getting at, right? Cause, uh, you know, we're clearly here, we're about to fight a VFD once we get through here. We got the team split, you know, we're all going through our own, our own trials. And then we all come together at the end and then fight VFD together, like that, that's it. Guess we'll start next episode with, uh, the end of the first trial. And then, have the second trial, possibly the third trial, and then the VFD trial. So, till then! <laughs>